You're okay. You're all right. You're all right. Okay. CNN's Clarissa Ward crawling into a ditch as a massive barrage of rockets explode overhead. Do you know anything about that? What can you report at this stage? A reporter live from Gaza as an Israeli airstrike targets a building. NBC News chief foreign correspondent Richard Engel still reporting, bracing himself, trying to stay safe in the face of danger. Stay down, stay down. From CNN to Fox News, MSNBC, on every network, we have seen unthinkable images from Israel after unspeakable acts of terror were unleashed by Hamas on Israel. Civilians massacred and kidnapped and more. The world is watching and these reporters are in the line of fire as Israel declares war. This hits particularly close to home for CBS Morning's co-host Tony DeCobel, who emotionally revealed his children are living in Israel now. An 11-year-old and a 14-year-old who live in Israel. They live there with their mother, my ex-wife. They are safe. And joined now by Tony DeCopel. What have the last 48 hours been like for you? Oh, boy, uh, Billy, it, it's harrowing. Um, it's, it's difficult uh, for any parent to know that rockets are being sent in the direction of your kids with no regard to whether they hit them or not. Truly horrific has been the 48 hours since I first got a call from my 14-year-old telling me he was taking shelter in a stairwell after being woken up from a sleepover last day of school holiday uh, at a friend's house, rushed to the stairwell, sirens going off. I checked the uh, news reports the next day and, and I see one of the rockets is within walking distance of their house. There's going to be an overwhelming response. Israel's gonna respond militarily in a massive way. Do you expect that there's gonna be massive war coverage coming from CBS News? I'm certain that the whole world will be covering this with massive attention. Uh, I think very quickly the, the attention and the questions will turn as the war in Gaza kicks off truly and fully to whether Israel has shown sufficient restraint. I think it will be very hard for them to show restraint because it is currently right now at this hour a deeply traumatized country that has just suffered the equivalent of seven 9-11s proportionally and the single deadliest day for Jews at the end of a rifle since World War II. That's a lot to cut through and then make a level-headed, mitigated military decision. And now the anchors of all three broadcast networks are scrambling to the region to cover the war. David Muir, Lester Holt, and Nora O'Donnell will anchor their evening news telecasts from Israel. As many as 260, more than 260 people at this one event were slaughtered. CNN's Anderson Cooper is already in the area. His colleague Nick Robertson arrived at Ben Gurion Airport and was met with missile warning sirens. You can hear the intercept missiles banging in the air. A lot of concern about what's going to happen here this night.